Hi, this is Nick Davis, and now we're going to go through creating an enamel glassy looking badge with a metal back plate using layer styles only. This graphic was created using just two shape layers filled with layer styles, so we're going to go through that now. So first of all, create a new document, 550 pixels wide by 250 pixels high, and fill it with black. We're going to work in RGB color mode, and we're going to be working low resolution for now, assuming that this is going to be a web-based graphic. Obviously, if you're going to be creating a graphic for press, you'll want to work at a higher resolution. First, we're going to create a shape layer with the rounded rectangle tool. Uh, so we're going to select that and make sure in the options palette that it's the uh, shape layers button and not the paths button that's selected. The shape layers button ensures that you get a filled shape rather than an empty path. Also uh, make the radius 10 pixels and we're going to create the rectangle now, like so. Now we're going to center that within the canvas by selecting all and selecting the move tool here which will make sure that in the options palette the align tools appear and we're going to select align horizontal and vertical centers. So now that uh, rectangle is perfectly centered within the canvas. Make sure you leave uh, a bit of space around the edges like so. Now we're going to deselect by going select, deselect. And we're going to color this shape layer yellow by clicking on this little swatch here, double clicking it. The color picker will come up, slide down to yellow, and there you are. A nice bright yellow. Now we're going to duplicate that layer by uh, dragging it down to the Create New Layer button here. And we're going to select the lower layer. The lower layer is going to be the metal backing plate for the badge. So to create the backing plate, we're going to select this lower layer here and uh, click the Add a Layer Style button here and come down to Stroke. The Layer Style dialog box will open. The settings you want to put in are, uh, say, 8 for size, so it's nice and thick. Just slide it up and, and down until you're happy, but uh, we're going to make it about 8. Position is going to be outside. Blend mode we're going to leave as is. The fill type is going to be gradient. And uh, the default gradient is this black to white linear gradient. So click once on that to open up the gradient editor. And we're going to add, just by clicking here, three points. And we're going to alternate them from grey to white along here, another grey one, and a grey one at the end. And that just gives us a uh, more of a metallic look, which you'll start to see here. Uh, we're going to change the angle to, say, minus 135, and click OK. Now you can see that the, the back plate looks a bit more metallic. Now we're going to be working on the upper layer here, but before we do, uh, we want to create the content of the badge. So first of all, hide both of those layers, select the background layer, click on Create New Layer, and fill that with white. Um, and now, create the content of your badge here with text or graphics or whatever you want. I prepared something earlier for speed. So once you're happy with the way this looks, you can, you can either do it in Photoshop or you can do it in Illustrator, copy and paste it into Photoshop, whichever way you want to do it. But uh, I'm happy with this. So once you have prepared this, select all and then select Edit Define Pattern. Um, and the menu is slightly out of shot, but um, trust me, it's there. Edit Define Pattern and this dialog box comes up. Uh, let's call it Pattern 3 and click OK. You can now hide or delete the layers that we've just created. I'm going to delete them because I, I've got them saved in another document. And I'm going to turn on these two layers here again and select the upper layer and create a, create a stroke around it, which will be where the, uh, the enamel badge meets the backing plate. So select Create Layer Style, come down to Stroke. Uh, now the stroke we want to be 2 pixels position outside, blend mode is going to be screen, and opacity 50%. Uh, the fill type is going to be white. And you'll end up with this subtle stroke around the edge. 
Next we're going to go to Pattern Overlay and insert the pattern that we've just created. That's the graphic that we've just created. So Blend Mode is going to be Multiply, Opacity 100, and then you click on the pop-up menu and select the pattern. Move that out of the way and there it appears. It should appear dead center. Uh, if it doesn't then you can just uh, click on it with the dialog box open and just move it around until you're completely happy. So I'm pretty happy with that. In gradient overlay we're going to make the blend mode multiply and we're going to click on the gradient itself and make it a grey to white gradient like this and click OK. Opacity we're going to make 80 percent and that should just create a nice subtle gradient there. Next we're going to give the graphic more of a 3D look. We're going to start to lift this enamel and to do that we're going to go to bevel and emboss. Here we're going to make uh, the style inner bevel. The depth is going to be 60%. Direction is going to be up. The size 20 pixels. Soften it by 10. And you can start to see it really coming alive here. Next and finally is the inner shadow setting which really does add the juice. So we're going to select that and we're going to give it a screen blend mode and make it white. I'm going to move it out of the way so you can see how this changes it. The opacity is going to be 50. Okay, uncheck global, use global light and we're going to make the angle 90 degrees. Uh, we're going to make the distance 90 pixels. Choke is going to be 2% and size 0 pixels. And here you, you can see this lovely glassy reflection has appeared. Now you can move this around as much as you like, ensuring that the angle stays at 90 degrees. You can change the distance to suit your graphic, but uh, no, uh, 90 pixel distance suits mine perfectly. So now we're going to click OK. And there you have it. That's a, a lovely glassy enamel looking badge with a backing plate.